Hello, this is Mr. Glenn. Thanks for tuning in to Driving Mad because math drives me. And uh, we're going to be going over adding and subtracting fractions. And the first step to that is making sure that the denominators are the same. And as you can see, the denominators are the same, so you're going to add the numerators. 4 plus 2 is 6. The denominator stays the same. Are we done? Is it in lowest terms? Is it in simplest terms? Has it been reduced? And no, it has not. How do I know that? Because I can reduce them both by two, which would leave me with six divided by two, that's a two, which is three, and 10 divided by two is five. And that's my answer. Same process with subtraction. The denominators are the same, so we're gonna keep the denominator 10, and then we just subtract the numerators. 4 minus 2 is 2. We can reduce these fractions. The common denominator or the common factor is 2. The greatest common factor is 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 10 divided by 2 is 5. And that is reduced. And that's how it goes. Pretty simple, hopefully. I don't know why I just whispered there, but here we go. All right, so now you see that the denominators are different. So we have to find the least common multiple, not factor, but multiple, okay? And so we're gonna look at these, four and six. It's also considered your denominators. Denominator. Sometimes I misspell that. So we're gonna look at four and six. Kind of like high and go see, you remember like five, 10, 15, 20, 25. Those are multiples. So we're gonna count the multiples of four. The multiples of four are four, eight, 12, 14, 20. The multiples of six are six, 12, 18. 24, 30. Now, the, the least common that they have, the least common is 12, right? So we have to rewrite. And what I do is I stack them. They can make it a little easier for me to solve. So the new fraction has to have the number 12 in it. And remember, we're adding those. So we're gonna do a fact four times what gives me 12, four times three, and three times three. So whatever I do to the bottom to multiply, I do to the top, three times three is nine, and then six times two is 12, and one times two is two. So what do I have, All right? I have nine plus two, because they, are, they have the same uh, denominator. So I end up with 11, over 12, okay, 11 over 12, and it is reduced. And that's how you add fractions, if they have a different denominator. Also, you would add or you would subtract in the same way. You would find the common denominator, you would find out uh, what it is, and then you would subtract the numerator. Hopefully, I'm not going too fast. If I am, pause it, rewind it, all right? So now we have a mixed number, subtracted from another mixed number. Now there are two ways you can do this, all right? But I'm gonna do one of them that will be pretty, uh, what will work every time. The other way is to take some, uh, a process of, of uh, uh, doing, okay? So I'm just gonna do what I've done before. I'm gonna change the mixed number into an improper fraction, fraction, <laughs> all right? Just like I've done before, uh, I have, four times two plus one, four times two plus one over four, okay? So two times four is eight plus one is nine. And then we have nine over two minus four times two plus one, All right? Almost like the same, it's the same thing, nine over four. I have to find the common multiple, we're looking at two, four,
four, the common factors of two, two, four, six, right? Don't have to go too far. Four, eight, 12. The common factor that's the smallest is four. So we're going to remember, I said I stack them. Nine over two minus nine over four. I'm going to rewrite these fractions with the new denominator. All right, so two times two is four, nine times two is 18. This denominator stays the same, right? How cool is that? They stay the same, 18 minus nine, right? 18 minus nine is, are you sure? Is nine, and then we keep the denominator to be four. Okay, and we can divide that nine divided by four goes in, uh, so four goes in nine two times, four times two is eight. So we have one left. Our answer is two. That is my answer. So as you can see, it's like really half of that, All right? So thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, I appreciate your time. Uh, this is driving math because math drives me. Uh, and please subscribe to the channel. Uh, let me know what I need to do better. You know, this I'm new to this. I'm willing to get critiqued, All right? Uh, put your comments in the comment section. Uh, if you have, uh, if you need to have tutoring, um, I am available to do that. Uh, email me. And, uh, and we'll talk about uh, your needs. Thank you once again. You have a great day. Bye.